<sighs> Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful Friday. I got to enjoy the very end of the eclipse last night. I woke up right before it started, you know, going away, which is kind of neat. Because I actually woke up going, oh, I missed it. And then I looked outside. I was like, no, it's just really dark. There. Anyway, so that was cool. Love our astronomical funkadelics. Whatever. This video is going to be in, is inspired by a young man named Benjamin Martinez who is planning on going out into the world and doing his thing and lighting it up. And he needed some tips and inspiration and I gave him some inspiration but not so much tips. I said water and a hard map but it's a little more than that. So what I'm going to do in this video is kind of go over my experiences in last year traveling full time in my vehicle. And just, you know, money's helpful <laughs> if you can save up some money before you even begin. That's always a good thing, which I had. Um, buy a vehicle that's going to be reliable. You want to have some space. You don't need a RV or a, one of those sprinters if you can't afford it, but just find a, a, a decent um, minivan or something similar. Like I have an Uplander. It, it worked out really good. And like I said, mine was owned by a tile company, so the back was already ripped out. So I didn't have to do anything with the seats, which I highly recommend if you're by yourself and you're traveling and you have a minivan with a bunch of seats, rip them out. I always recommend going to a junkyard, talking to the people there, like a pick and pool. And if the seats are really good quality, they will, they will resell them suckers. So all you have to do is ask for some tools to take them out or maybe the, even they'll help you. Because like I said, those seats are gonna be worth something to them. Somebody might come in and want some seats from a minivan or whatever. Plus, it'll give you the leg room to move around. And I'm telling you, you want to be able to stretch out. I don't know how tall everybody is. I'm 6'1". So, yeah. I, and I sleep. And I, I do. I don't. I slept in the back of a seat of a, my buddy's car one time. And that did not. I didn't sleep. I tried. I can't. I don't do fetal. I need to stretch out. So, anyway, that's important. Um. Padding is important too. I bought a king size um, like mattress padding and just folded it three times and it works perfect. <clears throat> For as far as cushion, you don't need like a soft pillow forever. You just need something cushiony. And I bought like three sleeping bags. So what I could do is I, I could, and it, this is one of my little tricks, is if I'm not somewhere where I can have, do laundry, I can sleep on one in one sleeping bag. And then when it starts getting a little funky, like a week or two, then I'll just switch over and I'll put that in the bottom. And then I'll switch over to the second one and that kind of thing. So you can just rotate your sleeping bags. Plus it's extra cushion. And I also recommend getting a sprayer. I can show you that real quick. It's right there. It's basically a garden sprayer. It holds a gallon and a half of water and it works really well. I also have an old military shovel, which came in hand and there's some Tupperware. We'll get into that in a minute. The shovel came in handy for a couple that got stuck up here in their sprinter. And I just walked down there. Doo -doo -doo. They actually had some guys coming up to help them get unstuck. But nobody brought a shovel. And my shovel was the bell of ball. You know what I mean? If it wasn't for my shovel, they wouldn't have got out. So that's always important, especially if you're traveling in the desert. But the sprayer is great for when you can't get to a shower. And it'll work at one... You know, a full gallon basically covers a full shower. And you just, you know, soak down, set up, and some rinse off. Easy enough. Might even do two if you're really quick. Um, yeah, so that's important. And when you, another thing when you're traveling, truck stops are great for showers if you can. Sometimes RV parks will allow you just to pay for a shower if you don't want to pay for, you know, the extra money just to park in their lot. Because I've done that too where I've just, pulled into RV park and just paid five bucks and took a shower and and got on so that's important too if you could try to save money which is very important I have past videos on all these BLM lands so if you want to look into that but BLM is important you try to find that sometimes rest stops will let you park eight hours which will mean a night time which is important just to get some sleep I ran to a guy that was traveling and he was trying to do this in Medford going from parking lot, Walmarts, to Planet Fitness, and it was just, he was getting like three hours of sleep 
at a time increments and then he'd have to move and I was like that's just not good can't do that so sleep is important what else the Tupperware I found out when I was up in Washington up in you know up north in the winter time that every moisture rains everywhere so you want to have Tupperware I actually bought that after I left because all my stuff was getting soggy everything would get damp my paperwork your maps everything so <clears throat> and always get hard maps and I always recommend getting recreation maps to different states because they'll show you all the campgrounds and the rec areas and the, the OHVB or whatever the places where they do the off-roading and the um, ATVs that's another place you can camp most you know just because you don't have an ATV doesn't mean you can't be there you're just gonna be surrounded by people that are running around getting wild on their ATVs but that's cool too and I also recommend um, being happy, <laughs> loving yourself. I did tell him that you have to believe in yourself when nobody else will, and that was my key. I wasn't getting support from anybody. My father, I love him, and I talked to him yesterday, and he's like, you need to get a job. I'm like, uh, I'm an artist, Dad, that is my job. I'm still in my heart. <laughs> of course, he reminded me of Biden, Hunter Biden. That was funny, because I was like, dude, that's just how it is, right? He's like, yeah. he's all, hey, you. You can't be selling for $500,000 for a print. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a smart ass, but he's right. But it, no, he's wrong when it comes to my job, though. Although I do would like to get a side gig so I can make extra money, which is always important. And um, as far as making a living, creating, you have to have specific talents. I also go back into my videos and talk about it. It's like Jedi training, you know, self-sufficiency. And you want to be able to... Use your talents to your advantage and make some money on it. Um, you can fly signs. As long, I, I don't recommend asking for money. That's just not my thing. But if, like I said, if you want to fly a sign that says too, too ugly to prostitute and too, you know, too honest for politics, then do it. And people will laugh and maybe give you some money. That's, there's no shame in, in making people smile. Don't feel bad about that. And like, I, you know, you can see all my artwork. You know, that's... That's my thing. I've, it took me 10 years to do it, but like um, Benjamin might have a set of skills that he might be able to use to, some people play the violin really well, some people juggle, some people are really good at just, I tell people, just do act out plays, man. Just whatever, you know, do comedy skits right there on the street. Whatever, you know, a dollar for a hug. I don't know, now with COVID, I don't know if that's gonna work. But, let me see. Get a, of course, get a Coleman stove. Those things work great. And those little propane, you know, propane little tanks last forever. And that's always important. What else? You can always get a jumper cables. You always want to have supplies. I always get like ibuprofen for boo-boos, you know, for headaches and stuff. And you get, you know, Tums. You always want to have like a medical kit of little things, band-aids, you know, Neosporin. And all your soap and your laundry, you want to get that ahead of time. So that way when you're traveling, because a lot of places don't have it. And when they do, it's expensive as hell. Like I'm here at Chiriaco Summit and everything in that store is just ridiculous. Three times what you would get it at Food for Less or a grocery outlet. So when you, when you get a chance and you're going to stock up on supplies on the road, get them at the big supply chains. I hate to say it because that's where it's going to be cheapest for you. And... Get as much as you can. I got. I had a lot of canned food stocked up, so when I did have some hard times, and like now, I was able to, you know, rely on that. I got canned peaches, canned carrots, and peas are really good too. You'd be surprised for canned, uh, canned chicken, and like Swanson's or something. That's really good. And canned beans. You cannot go wrong with beans. It's really good protein. It's it's a meal. You can literally just eat. I just would open the can and just eat the beans out of the can. Maybe put some, you know, Tabasco sauce on it or something. So you just want to have meals to survive sometimes. You want to have for, um, another great meal, like I said, is um, is those little packets of oatmeal. You know, you have apple cinnamon, you have maple and brown sugar, and blueberries and peach cream. Those are really good. You know, oats are really good for you. And it's simple. You just add water, and you can buy lots of packs. Those are really good, and they last for a while. But another thing about those is... You want to put those in a plastic baggie. You get those gallon baggies and put them in the side there because even those will get susceptible to moisture. I had to throw some away when I was up north because it was the moisture got into the bag. So you got to be careful of moisture whenever you're doing everything. So 
It's always something to think about. And there's and with the with the propane, I actually have a heater, a propane little part, little attachment to the top of the propane that is an actual heater, which I actually use to thaw out the inside of my windows when I I mean it gets cold too. So you want to have a wool blanket, at least one wool blanket, because that will just warm the hell out of you and it's amazing and my pillow i got a my pillow i know people don't like him but I, I'm, <laughs> mike adele's a genius and his pillows are wonderful and i bought one and it's it's amazing i had to take some of the stuffing out i actually cut it open and took some of the stuffing out because it's just too puffy for me but it's it's it's, it's spongy so when you're washing them it's going to take forever to dry so i recommend when you take it out of the washer to, to wring it out real good before you throw it in the dryer because that way it won't take as long to dry and what else? What else can I think of? You're gonna to want to have some kind of communication. I bought a little speaker. A little, you know, this, you want to have music. I do try to. Get, I try to get places where I can get signal, which is always important when I'm camping. So that way I can at least watch movies or contact people when I want to or in an emergency, or whatever. Not that I've had to. You always want to be ready for, you know, gasoline. I mean, my gauge took a dump on me, so I have to. That was my big problem, running out of gas every once in a while. But, you know, like I said, when you get a vehicle, make sure you got all, get all your fluids checked. And another thing with the vehicle, I only use Chevron gas, and I only use premium, and there's a reason for that. And my father told me about that. He was He's a mechanic, and he told me that most of the people's problems when they have with their cars are basically the gas they use. Use cheap gas, and your car is going to be knocking and pinging and what... Um, what the premium gas does is it basically cleans your engine so your engine doesn't have any problems. Your spark plugs don't have to be changed because they're being cleaned as you go. It's important. And I've, like I said, I've, I've stuck with Chevron and had any problems, no problems with that, my, my engine, you know, except for the wreck. Always be careful and I always recommend driving under the speed limit, always. You're not in a hurry. You're traveling. You don't have a deadline. You ain't got somebody, you gotta go in the morning. You just, you got on your time. You're going with God, you're going with the universe, just go with the flow. 60 miles an hour is max. It'll save your gas. 55, 60, who cares if people get pissed? Let them go around. Pull over. I pulled over so many times just to let assholes go by. And God bless, right? You get that ticket for me, babe. And I would just go. And another thing I also recommend is back roads. I'm not talking about dirt roads, but back roads of America are amazing. And, and it's a great way to stay away from cities. I have gone around cities before, just taking back roads, and it was amazing. It was beautiful. There's no people. There's no traffic. It's, it's you can take it. Like I said, when you want to go 55 miles an hour, nobody's gonna care. It's awesome. And if you're gonna go through a city, I always recommend Sunday morning is the best time to travel through LA. Best time to travel through Seattle. Best time to travel through any town, Portland or whatever. You don't want traffic. You don't want to be stuck in that for three hours. You know, it, like I said, it wear and tears on your vehicle having to sit there and idle in traffic. So I avoid cities except on the early Sunday morning because that's when everybody's sleeping so it's a good day to do that <clears throat> let's see what else vitamins I get gummy vitamins those are important too it's a good you know just keep you healthy besides staying positive don't get down on yourself loving yourself is important if you're going on your journey you might want to do some self checks first right you want to make sure you got your energy up you want to make sure you got your you know your self-love because sometimes you're gonna need it. <laughs> Trust me, I've I've needed it. I have guides and people I go to, you know, I, I you know, inspirational tarot readers, stuff like that. People that are just guides that, you know, don't I don't go to all of them because some people are just really dark and they they try to catch you with, you know, it's like clickbait and stuff. Oh, you gotta watch this now. Beware! I was like, I don't do that. I only go for the people that are like, you're gonna do it. It's like it's a mo they're motivational more than anything. They're inspirational. They tell you, look. Despite the person, you're gonna walk away, you're gonna find a new life, you're gonna be better off, and, and it helps you. It doesn't hinder, it doesn't get you all paranoid and thinking that, you know what I mean? So watch who you listen to and you watch on YouTube and stuff like that. Because not everybody's in it for you, they're in it for money. <sighs> but yeah, like I said, BLM is amazing because it's free, 14 days, and it's all over the West. I don't know about back East, I've never been there yet, and I was thinking about it. And I talked to a couple that got stuck. They're from back east in Virginia and stuff. And they're like, it's nothing like out west. It's very crowded, very, and they don't have a lot of BLM places. You can just camp for free. So out west is usually the best bet. I always recommend the desert in the winter. And I usually go up north in the spring. 
like I was in Montana and then on the coast of Washington down to the you know California in the summertime it's only 70 degrees all year round it's beautiful never gets too hot maybe 80 so you don't have to worry about anything you live it in your vehicle it's gonna get hot and it's miserable you're gonna be all the windows are gonna be open and if you, you don't have shade that's another thing and what else another thing Tents are good to put your supplies in if you want to have more room inside your vehicle. I just bought a tent so I could throw all my supplies in it, and that way I have more room inside my tent, I mean my vehicle. But Montana was the only place I actually feared for my life as far as, like, in the wilds because of grizzly bears. And I wasn't just doing that to be paranoid. It was, it was and I was in Thompson Lakes, Chain of Lakes, between um, Libby and Cali Spell in Montana, western Montana, real rugged. And there's grizzly bears around there and I was like walking down the road five miles looking for a signal one time and that was stupid but anyway and I'll tell you why because not only did Ron White do a skit about a 14 foot bear that some ranger shot and it took him like what he had he had a magnum pistol and he shot it seven times and then he had to reload and shoot it another, seven, another seven times and when they opened up this 14 foot bear which was like a record they found a hiker not only did they find the hiker they found his 38 pistol inside the, the bear, and they found five slugs in the bear. So a 38 does not stop a bear, and it, it will eat you and the guns, apparently. And when I was on the coast, another gentleman on a bike told me about a guy that was on a bike that was killed by a bear because it ripped into his tent. So just be wary of that. Like I said, when you're in your vehicle, you're safe. You know, if it starts ro ro rocking your vehicle, you can just drive away, right? So that's all, it's just safety tips. But other than that, other than Montana, I didn't really have any problems like that. I didn't worry about, you know, getting eaten by a coyote or any of that crap. So just Montana, it's, it was pretty rugged. It was like, like, was it a legend of the fall? No shit, man, it's beautiful up there though. Anywho, I think that's about it, right? That's, that's a, you know, just believe in yourself. Find some skills that you can use on the road to sell if it's just selling jewelry or telling jokes or you know whatever you gotta do um, find your find your skills that you can use to, to make money on the road you know like I said do Shakespearean plays or whatever I don't know tell jokes that's it that's all I got I think yeah hard maps lots of water good god lots of water because like I said places will charge you a arm and a leg right up here at, at Cherryaco uh, just a a pint of water is like almost two two thirty, and I can buy a gallon for a dollar, less than a dollar, at a major chain. So yeah, yeah. Be careful what you spend your money on. Always save up. Always try to buy when you can at the big bulk stores, so that way you're not getting robbed. And just watch your money. And yeah. Anyway, God bless and good luck. And I love you. God loves you, and the universe really digs the fact that you want to get out there and rock it, because you're good enough. And yeah. You'll do it. Just don't be afraid. Just trust in the universe, trust in God, and, and have fun with it. You gotta just keep positive, smile, be happy, and get away from all the toxic people in your life. I do videos on all that energy and stuff. You can look them up if you want. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like anybody watches this. Anyway, I love you, and I'm flirting. I'm getting out of here. Alrighty. Have a wonderful day. Hope this helps.